All right, just going to do a quick video here on Edge Elastic. A few people have asked questions about how to type something or we're having some trouble. So I'm going to show you two types of pretend questions here that I've just typed up in a sandbox assignment. So let's say that whatever the question is, um, this is your answer box. And when you click in it, it gives you all of this. Now, not every question is going to give you all of that because if you don't need all of it, sometimes we're able to scale some of it back. But let's just pretend that this pretend question was asking me for the range of a certain function. So I know that domain and range um, goes in either parentheses or brackets. So I could choose um, in these. Um, to make them one of those or I can just type on my keyboard because both a bracket and a parenthesis are options there. So if I want one parenthesis and one bracket, I'm going to need to type it. Here, if I want, say, two brackets, then I can just choose that and let's say that my range is going from zero to um, I don't know, I guess I should probably do an infinity because that would make it better. So let me say I'm putting a bracket on the zero, comma, and then infinity. So infinity, you can see it actually right here. A bunch of your symbols are in here. So here's the infinity sign. Other symbols that are in here that you might need at some point are pi, the degree sign, of course, any operators. Most of those you can type right on the keyboard, though. Um, and then these less than or equal to, greater than or equal to's. Also, another thing I want to point out that a lot of people don't notice is that here you can choose um, anything. There's more choices to the right if there's an arrow. So you can choose something else. So if you need the plus or minus symbol, here it is. If you need a not equal to symbol, there it is. Um, so we've got lots and lots of symbols to choose from here. In this example, I would just use infinity, and then I would type a parenthesis to finish it, and that would give me my answer. Now, you'll notice here that I also have a scratch pad, which generally if there's a scratch pad there, that means that you are required to do some sort of work. So you click where it says scratch pad and it gives you the freehand drawing tool. Now, certainly you can, the default is on this pencil where you can write whatever you want out by yourself. So if you want to write, you know, log of two minus log of eight equals log of two over eight because that would be using a property, you could do that. If you're doing something for stats and you want, um, you need to write in your calculator input, you can just write on the screen, let's say you're doing inverse norm of 0.98 with zero and one. And again, if you're not in one of those classes, it's fine if you don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm just illustrating the um, way that you can write. Now, for some of you, you say that your touch screens don't work super well, and so your handwriting isn't looking like this. That's fine. There's also a text tool. So if I click on the ABC, I can click and I can just type in whatever I want. So if I want to type in, um, inverse norm and then I could do 0.98, 0, 1, and I could click update and there it shows up. Um, so you can type things, you can write things, you can also use the equation editor that we previously talked about. So if you need any symbols in your work, all those tools that we just talked about should be there. Um, once you have done that, then of course you would click next to go to the next question. Now this question type, I've done a freehand drawing, so you're not typing anything anywhere. So this looks pretty much like the scratch pad. So again, if you don't want to freehand draw, you have the option to type text, type equations, 
anything that you need, you can type in there. So if I want to type, um, let's say I want to do a um, exponential equation. So I want to do 10 to the negative second power. So you can see I chose this guy. Um, if I press the right arrow key, that takes me out of my exponent, and I can type equals. 10 to the negative second would be 1 over 100, so then I would choose fraction, because I need to write a fraction. So 1 over 100. Um, and then update, and then look, there's all of my work in there. Um, now if you have multi multiple steps of work, you can then, if you want, um, you know, click somewhere else. Um, and move it as needed. I would suggest if you know what you're going to type to just write it all in one, um, but certainly you can move things around. You can see I'm dragging it here as needed. Also on some of the freehand drawing tools, there's a box underneath where you can explain your answer. Notice that these ones do have a subscript, superscript. They also do have this guy here. So if for some reason you couldn't fit everything in that big box, you could use the box below as well. And then once you get to the last question and you've answered all of them, you can click submit and it will turn in your um, end of the test. So notice you can mark things that are flagged or unanswered. It'll tell you all of those things. And then you would click here to submit it once you are actually finished. All right, please, please, please be sure to reach out if you're still having issues because I'm sure I can help you navigate that.